How's it going everyone? In today's video, we will be talking about how to export an AAF file from Pro Tools to DaVinci Resolve or any other video software you may be using. It doesn't really matter. From Pro Tools, what you're gonna wanna do is first of all, select all of the tracks. Okay, so here I have all my tracks selected. Then go to File, Export, select the tracks as new AAF slash OMF. In this case, we're using AAF. Here we go, this should all be okay. Export as AF, blah, blah, blah. Okay, okay. And stick and bow AAF from Pro Tools. Save, open, and now it's gonna export. It'll take a few minutes. All right, that's done. Now I'm in DaVinci Resolve, and the way that works here is you have to go to File, Import, Timeline. So DaVinci treats an AAF as a timeline. Stick and bow AAF from Pro Tools. We've got all the audio files here, and I'm just looking for the one AAF file, which is the one of consequence to us. Sometimes they're hidden. There you go. Okay, boom. Open. Source file, stick and bow, AF from Pro Tools. Sure, automatically set settings, source camera files, 1920 by the Okay. So here we have all the audio files in question, as well as our new timeline. So what I usually find is that I have to zoom out a bunch, depending on what the audio engineer has done. The files might be all the way here to the side, and here they are. So we'll notice that these actually, first of all, they do have the names of the tracks, which is good. That's not always the case. And then we have all of the tracks in the right place. Your video editor now, with this AAF information, can link the entire multi-track take to the multi-cam clip and edit it all simultaneously. So only one person has to get the job done. When your editor is done doing the broad strokes edits, then they can re-export an AAF from DaVinci back into Pro Tools, which will allow the audio engineer to still have the handles and fine tune any of those edits so that it works well for audio. I have another video right up here on how to export an AAF from DaVinci to Pro Tools so that you can export correctly for your audio engineer. That's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. If this was helpful, please leave a thumbs up and subscribe if you want to see more content like this. Have a good day and I'll catch you on the next one.